How much SQL, Python, Excel, and Tableau do you need to know to get hired as a data analyst? How do you know if your skills are enough to land a job and perform well in your role? These are questions that I get all the time, so let's try to find an answer in this video. So let's start with SQL. How much SQL do you really need to know? The short answer is quite a bit. SQL is the foundation of data analytics. It is the tool that allows you to connect and manipulate large data sets. It's not just about writing simple select statements or joining a couple of tables. You need to be comfortable with more advanced concepts like window functions, CTEs, which stands for common table expressions and subqueries. Why is this important? Because often the data is shaped in a way that is not useful to you or does not serve your purpose. And so to reshape it and extract only the information you need, you will need to utilize many functions and advanced features of SQL. Therefore, if I would summarize what you will need to know in SQL, it would be basic of SQL, so writing simple queries with select from and where, sorting data with order by, filtering and conditions with AND, OR, and NOT, using aliases like AS for column and tables. Then if you want to work with data, you will need aggregating data like count, sum, average, mean, and max, grouping data with group by, filtering aggregated results with having, and dealing with null values with if null and coalesce. Then if you need to join table together, you will need a different type of joins like the in and join, left join, right join, full outer join, and cross join. And also combining data from multiple tables using foreign keys. Then you will probably need subqueries and common table expressions. And so writing subqueries in select from or where clauses, and also using with to create common table expressions for better readability. In terms of window functions, you will need ranking and row numbering like row number, rank and then rank, calculating running totals and moving averages, and also partitioning data with partition by. And then for data transformation, you would need uh, string manipulation functions like concat, substring, upper and lower, but also date functions like date add, date diff, year and month, as well as mathematical operations like round, flow and seal. And in case you're interested, I will leave the link to my free SQL guide in the video description. But the good news is that there are many SQL concepts that are not necessary for a data analytics professional. For example, database administration skills are typically a responsibility of someone else who builds a database and adjusts it to be useful for others in the company. Also, and not many people know this, most of the time you do not need to worry about optimizing your queries for speed, as it is very rare to work with billions of rows of data. It is way more common to work with millions of rows, which means that in most cases your query will run quite fast unless you made some very basic mistake. Therefore, learning how to optimize queries is not essential, but it is a nice to have. However, one important aspect related to SQL, which is slightly outside the actual SQL language, is how to model data and create pipelines. This means that you should spend some time learning database concepts and understanding the different approaches to join tables together to create a data model that you will then use for your analysis. If you learn this, you will be able to create data models like what I do on a daily basis as a data analytics lead, which to give you a very practical example, would look something like this. Next up, let's talk about Python. Do you need Python as a data analytics professional and how much do you need it? So I can answer this from my experience. There are many instances in data analytics where you do not need to use Python. This was true for many tasks I performed that primarily required SQL and data visualization skills. I did not have to use Python for data manipulation because I could accomplish the same thing using SQL or in some cases even Excel alone. To create visualizations, again, I did not need Python as I had other tools that we will discuss shortly. From my experience, when you have data sitting in a database, in about 80-90% of cases you will only need a good level of SQL and a visualization tool to analyze and visualize your findings. Python becomes more important when you do not have a database to work with, but instead have large Excel files, for example, or maybe when you have to collect data using API or web scraping. In these scenarios, since you can not use SQL, Python becomes a valuable tool to consolidate multiple files and perform analytics and visualizations. Another use case for Python is when you need to conduct more advanced analytics. For example, you may need to perform simple machine learning tasks or work with more statistics and experimentation such as A-B testing. In these cases, Python is essential because it has libraries specifically designed for those tasks, making your work much easier. So long story short, Python is not strictly essential, but nice to have in case you need to deal with some specific use cases like the ones that I just mentioned. Then we have Excel, which may not be as sexy as Python or SQL, but it remains essential in a company. And the primary reason is that most employees who deal with data, even if they're not technical like data analysts or data scientists, will still rely on Excel. So to effectively communicate and collaborate with them, 
you will also need to use Excel. And this is why having a strong foundation in Excel is super important. You should be familiar with the main functions like sum, average, and if, as well as more advanced ones like VLOOKUP and index match, especially when you have to work with different data sets or tabs that needs to be combined. Also, you should know how to use pivot tables, which is very important because they are excellent to reshape data to meet your needs. And also you should be able to create basic charts, which uh, others may prefer in an Excel file rather than in a more sophisticated reporting tool. I recommend learning data validations and conditional formatting, which are features in Excel that can show duplicate values or highlight cells based on rules you create and I often use these features within Excel. But there are more advanced features in Excel, such as Power Query, that I would suggest skipping. And if you don't know with Power Query, you can import or connect to external data into Excel and then shape that data, for example, removing a column, change a data type or merge tables in ways that meet your needs. The reason I say to skip these more advanced Excel features is that if you want to go into more deep data analysis, you will likely need to move beyond Excel. This is because Excel cannot manage large amounts of data and is not designed for more advanced analytics. Switching to SQL and Python or even a data visualization tool will be much more beneficial. Now let's discuss Tableau. Tableau is my favorite business intelligence and data visualization tool and it is one of the most popular tools for creating reports and dashboards that effectively communicate a story with your data. In Tableau, you should be able to create dashboards from scratch, which involves connecting and creating different data sources, building various types of charts, such as a bar chart, a line chart, a stack bar chart, a tables, a map or a histogram, or even a pie chart, as well as adding filters to make a dashboard more interactive, and also be able to create calculated fields, which are values that are not present in a data source, but needs to be calculated separately. But I wouldn't recommend spending too much time becoming a design expert, as you can start by using templates available online. And Tableau Public is an excellent resource for inspiration from other people's dashboard. You can literally copy and paste the dashboards into your file and swap the data source to use your own data instead of the original author's data source. And this is an efficient technique that I use constantly to save time on formatting and designing new dashboards. And so long story short, SQL, Python, Excel, and Tableau are all crucial tools for data analysts. SQL is your tool for accessing and querying data from large database. Python is used to uh, automate reports and analytics. Excel is perfect for quick analysis and sharing insights within the organization. And Tableau is how you create powerful visualizations that tell a story with data. You don't need to master all of these tools at once. I recommend starting with the data visualization tool as it is the easiest to see a nice final result. Next, move to Excel to ensure you can navigate the interface confidently in case it's needed in the company. And after that, I would practice SQL to handle large amount of data and extract the information you need from the database. Lastly, consider learning Python as is a nice to have skills. It is not a strict requirement for the title, but it can be fun to automate tasks and see them completely with a single click when you run your code. I hope this perspective was helpful. If you found at least one valuable piece of information in this video, please subscribe so that I can uh, help you even further in future videos. And if you aim to master all of these tools in one resource, check out my Data Analytics Master course where I teach you exactly these four tools, SQL, Python, Excel, and Tableau. We work together on four advanced analytics projects that you can use to build a powerful portfolio. And we do this within the course itself. I will leave the link here uh, for more information on the course and also another link to a video that YouTube thinks you might enjoy. And well, enjoy the rest of your day Ciao for now and see you in the next one.